Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashland Leather and I'm really excited to show you nearly 50 items of our new private stock event that will be dropping this Friday, September 2nd. Can you believe it's September already? Everything that you're about to see in the video will be available on the private stock page of our website, ashlandleather.com at 12 p.m. Central Time this Friday. So let's start out first here with an incredible piece. This is a Capone money clip made out of ultraviolet shell cordovan. And some of these ultraviolet shells that we have have these really interesting streaks in them. And I decided to cut those into the nice center sections of the exterior card slots of this Capone money clip, as well as on the interior card holders. So this one turned out really great. It's sort of like a peanut butter and jelly color combination. And then all of the edges are also hand stained to match the ultraviolet shell cordovan. And in addition to that, we have a gold spring bar money clip. I have a couple more Capone money clips to show you that are really incredible. All these, we actually have four that are made in the psychedelic shell cordovan. So check this out here. Psychedelic shell cordovan is this really interesting color spotting. I don't know what to call it. Just a bunch of different colors combined together. So this particular one has some purple and green, little bits of orangey tan, and then all those colors in between that gives it a really unique look. And on this inside, we continue that same color theme with the green and the purple in the center. And on the left card holder, you can see it's a little bit less green and more orange and some of those purple colors. So like I said, we have four of those Capone money clips. We'll give you a look at the other few here because each piece of psychedelic shell cordovan is very unique and very different. So each one of these will be getting their own page on the website. You'll be able to pick out exactly the one you like. This one is really, really cool too. And the last psychedelic piece here to show you, also an exceptional piece. I really love the psychedelic with that purple and green sort of sandwiched on top of each other with some of the more of that natural color, a little bit of the more tan shade underneath. And you just look at the inside of the last one here. We also made an Apple watch band in that same psychedelic shell cordovan. So you can see the pieces here on the watch strap do have a little bit more of a dramatic range. The adjustment side of this strap is actually a little bit darker than the buckle side. So here's a look here of the psychedelic shell on the Apple Watch here. The reverse side is very much a straight up violet purple color. And on the buckle side of the watch band here, you get a little bit more of the color contrast in the psychedelic shell. We have two more Apple Watch bands to show you. Here's one that I think people are gonna love. This is the Skip Finish Shell Cordovan. And we didn't get much of this, so I did find a little bit of a net left of a shell that has this skip finish on it. And the skip finish, it looks like he sort of dabbed different layers of color in the same way that they get the psychedelic shell. But this one is more of like a two-tone look. So it's kind of like a color rate and natural combination on this guy. And the last Apple Watch band here to show you is another fan favorite. This is the dip dyed amaretto shell cordovan. So the dip dyed amaretto shells are a little bit more orange. In fact, I think this is the most orange shade of any shell cordovan that I have seen. If you look at the shell side here, it's a little bit darker on this side. So the reverse side of the dip dyed amaretto, much more of a vibrant orangey tan shade. And we think this goes really well with the black hardware. And I do have one more Capone money clip to show you. This one is reverse cigar shell cordovan on top of cigar shell cordovan. And the cigar shell, it's a little bit different than the color eight shell because it doesn't have any of that burgundy sort of reddish purple color to it. It's much more of a straight up brown shade. And on the interior of this Capone, we also have card holders in the cigar shell cordovan with a gold money clip. And before we get to some Johnny the Fox wallets, I wanted to show you a prototype. This is what we've been calling the Capone Fox. We did make a few of these, but we have not released this into production. So I think less than 10 have been made in total. This is sort of like a combination of those Capone money clips and the Johnny the Fox, where we have exterior card holders on the outside, as well as those same two card holders as the Capone on the inside. The big difference here is there's a bill slot in the center. So there's no hardware to hold all the money in place. Like on the Capone money clip, there's no money clip at all. The other big difference was we followed Skip's suggestion here to make this bill slot have a lower sort of access point here. So we stitched a little bit lower. And what that allows you to do is to have a little bit easier access to your cash. And this is designed for right-handers. So this particular one, that slot is a little bit lower on the right side. So when you get in with your right hand, it's a lot easier to access. So this particular Capone Fox, we have some reverse shell cordovan on top of Western whiskey shell cordovan. Now let's get into the giant of the foxes. This one blew me away. This is English tan derby leather. It's very similar to the English tan Dublin, except this has been tumbled so you get a little bit of this tumbling effect, which gives you more highs and lows of color on the derby leather. The dark spots are actually bits of wax and actually appears to me like the wax was applied a little bit unevenly on this particular piece 
of that English tan derby. This one also has yellow stitching on the outside as well as a combination interior. So we have English tan derby on top of yellow horsehide latigo, and again with the yellow stitching inside and out. And here's the opposite of that. We have yellow horsehide latigo, and this has that sort of epic texture that a lot of people are looking for in the horsehide leathers. So this one is the opposite of the one we just looked at, where on the inside we have yellow on top of English tan derby. And here's another absolute stunner, marbled black shell cordovan. And this one has the dramatic contrast that I prefer when it goes from this really nice sort of orangey tan natural shade down to those darker, more forest green shades, a little bits of blue in there as well. And here's a look at the inside where we have more marbled black shell cordovan, which does have a little bit of a forest green color to it on top of some black shell cordovan card holders. And we have two more Johnny the Foxes to look at. This one here is my second favorite shell color. This is color number four shell cordovan, a really nice mild brown, very much a medium brown with reddish undertones. And the shell on here is just absolutely incredible really bright shiny luster and it's very difficult to capture just how nice the shell is in any still images or even in a video like this it's almost like trying to take a picture of a mirror so on the inside of this one we've matched it up with color four but this is color four horsehide latigo on the interior which matches perfectly to the color four on the outside the last giant of the fox to look at is a great piece also gator shell cordovan and this is gator on the denim blue shell cordovan it might appear a little bit black at certain angles but as you spin this one around, you can definitely see more of the denim blue shell cordovan colors coming out. On the interior of this one, we have a reverse interior. We've matched these pieces together to be very clean looking. Not much of that random dye variation or random color at all. This is about as light as it gets on a piece of reverse shell. And I have a couple Frank the Enforcers to show you. Check this one out. Epic natural shell cordovan for the front card holder, as well as some raw violet shell cordovan in the center. This one has a hand stitching on it, which turned out great. On the back side of this, we have that same color combination with the epic natural on top of raw violet. And another Frank the Enforcer to show you, also hand stitched. This is natural shell cordovan with that baby blue, sort of robin's egg blue thread color. This is also hand stitched, so you get a bold, chunky thread look. A lot of people might wonder why you would pick a hand stitch wallet over one that it's not, I think the only reason to do it is if you like a really big, bold, chunky thread look. And let's look at some wallets with snap closures. This is our Vic coin pouch, our little snap wallet. We've added some additional card holders on the back of each of these. And in addition to that, we've also applied some magnetic snaps. So you can see this one closes very nicely with that magnetic snap closure. This is made in raw denim shell cordovan, so we don't get that bright shiny luster as a normal piece of shell, but you do get that really great aqua blue color. This particular one is also hand stitched with blue thread, and then we have lizard ultraviolet shell cordovan for the exterior card slot. Here's another incredible piece. This is a leather that I wish I could get more of. Tumbled verdigris shell cordovan. It's almost like a tumbled marbled look here. Verdigris is this really interesting pale green shade and it sort of ranges from a lighter pale green to sometimes a darker, more forest green shade. This one also has yellow hand stitching with that magnetic closure. And two more to look at. This one is lizard shell cordovan on color number four this time. We have another piece of lizard shell for the card holder on the exterior and a magnetic snap on this one also. And the last one also with a magnetic snap, this is gator shell cordovan on ultraviolet. And on the back card holder here, we have reverse ultraviolet, which looks really great. This one is also hand stitched. So you get a great matching thread color. There's a little bit of a chunkier look with that bold hand stitching. Here's another great wallet that we have not made many of. This is what we were calling the mama wallet, but we're not gonna call it the Bonnie. And this Bonnie wallet here with the flap closures, also a magnetic snap. This one is a great Dover leather and color. So it's a leather from Horween that's kind of similar to the Dublin, but it has this more of like a chalky look, a little bit more of a cloudy appearance, which is great for gray. It's tough to get gray leathers, and I love the way this gray turns out. So on the inside of this, we've paired up that gray with some yellow horsehide latigo, which turned out beautifully. And one more snap wallet to look at. This is a blast from the past. Machine Gun Jack here in black Chrome XL. Now this is a leather that we don't carry, but we do have a couple black Chrome XL wallets in the batch day. We save the things that we don't often use for the private stock events. Machine Gun Jack was designed just to carry credit cards in the front slot here, and it's designed to be symmetrical. So if, if you were to unstitch this pattern, this is symmetrical from top to bottom. I have a couple more prototypes to show you. Check this out here. This is our Gus card case in a really beautiful piece 
of tumbled blue shell cordovan. You can see that tumble pattern, and then the depth of color in the blue is very, very nice. Sort of looks like ripples on the water. On the inside of this one, we have raw amaretto shell cordovan, and what makes this one a little bit different is we have three card holders. See, one in the back here, one in the center, and then one in the front. So one additional card holder when compared to our normal Gus card case. And here's another prototype. This is actually the first ever shell cordovan small zip wallet. Let me show you how mine has been wearing in. So I started wearing this one the first day that we launched the small zip wallet. This is in English Tan Dublin, and I'm really loving mine. Uh, I'd be curious to see the people that picked these up, what you guys are thinking about yours, how it's wearing in, how you're finding the uh, usability. I find it to be very, very easy to use. We want to get into making some Shell Cordovan versions. So this was the first prototype that we made in Shell Cordovan. We have Western Whiskey Shell Cordovan on the outside of the wallet with the same black horsehide latigo on the interior. These also have those antique brass Riri zippers, which are just a pleasure to slide. It's very frictionless and nice. So the first Shell one here, we're not able to take orders on these just yet, but we are planning to make some shell quarter in small zips. And I have a couple one-shot card holders to show you. This first one here is in tumbled natural shell quarter in. I think it's tumbled natural. It almost looks more like a tumbled whiskey. It's a little bit darker, more golden brown. This one is also hand-stitched with a matching brown thread. And one more one-shot card case to show you. This is the tumbled marble shell quarter in. And you can see if you look closely, the color ranges from a little bit more of a mild medium tan to sort of blue. And then it gets a little bit of green and a little bit of black. So so the tumbled marbled has that same sort of color depth as the marble shell cordovan, but with the addition of the tumbling, it sort of changes the texture a little bit and then opens up the shell. So it's a little bit more dull in terms of luster, but as you wear it, it will become very bright and shiny. All right, more private stock to look at. Check this one out here. This is another blast from the past. Louis Little New York. This is one of our wallets that sort of put us on the map about 10 years ago now. So on the exterior here, we have Western Violet Shell Cordovan on top of some raw violet shell cordovan. And what's really great about this wallet design is that we have this one piece here. This is a larger card holder that will fit both cash folded in half and credit cards. But this folds around the outside edge. So you get this turned edge, which gives you a cool contrast between the outside and the inside of the wallet, especially when you have two different leathers and colors like you do here. So on the left side here, this is where I like to put my most commonly used cards. And again, on the right side, I'll put a little bit of cash, maybe a couple extra cards there. Another card holder to look at, this is our vertical Bugs Moran in reverse color eight Dublin leather. So this is the unintended side of the Dublin. And we did it this way because this one had a really nice Horine measuring machine stamp on it. And also the reverse side is filled in with a nice resin finish, which actually looks pretty clean. And then on the reverse side of the color eight, it's a little bit more of this pale sort of burgundy red color. And we have a couple more vertical Bugs Morans to look at. Check this one out. Very beautiful piece of garnet shell cordovan for the interior. And on the exterior of this one, we have some denim blue shell cordovan, which matches the uh, denim on the table really well. Another Bugs Moran here. This does not have the vertical card slots. And on the Bugs Moran with traditional card holders, I like to put my commonly used cards on the top and then folded cash underneath. The exterior does not have a bill slot. And then when this is folded in half, it's about the size of a deck of cards so we'll fit perfectly into a front pocket or into a back pocket. And we have two Tony the Ants to look at. The first one here is in some brown nut Dublin, which has some epic texture to it. Really great grain character and figuring on this brown nut Dublin. We've got a contrasting cream stitch on this one, as well as brown nut Dublin on the interior. And one more Tony the Ant to show you. This one is a little bit tragic because it's an irregular, but the interior, I remember cutting this and getting really excited. This is reverse denim blue on the interior card holders. And I cut this out because I really like the look with the edges being that blue shade and then a little bit more of like a sandy beach on the uh, interiors of the card holders. This one looks really, really awesome for the interior. And then we've got some hand stained edges and here's where the irregularity is. There's a little bit of a dark spot here. I'm not really sure what that is, but this is dip dyed amaretto shell cordovan on top of raw denim for the exterior. And let's get to some fat Herbies. This is our flagship wallet. I find this to be the best back pocket wallet around. We were talking about black Chrome Excel earlier, and that's what this is here. Black Chrome Excel on top of some gray Dover leather. And so it's a really cool combination with black and gray together. And then we have a matching gray stitching along the outside, as well as on the inside where we have more black Chrome Excel. Here's another incredible wallet. Inverted blue shell cordovan for the bill slot on this one 
on top of some cigar shell cordovan for the middle piece of this wallet. So that's more of that true brown. And the inverted blue has a really nice color range. This is a little bit more of a subtle look, very aqua blue. And on the interior, we have more cigar shell cordovan with the baby Ashland stamp. That's what we call this one here without the A circle logo. And we have two more absolute stunners on Fat Herbie's. Check this out here. This is the reverse of what we just looked at. Cigar shell cordovan for the bill slot. And then the middle piece here is inverted blue shell cordovan again. And this particular wallet is one of the nicest Herbies I've seen. This one is hand stitched with a blue thread on top of both the inverted blue and the cigar shell cordovan. And the interior, check this out, inverted blue shell cordovan again with also that baby Ashland stamp on the bottom right. This is a really nice looking wallet. One last Fat Herbie to look at, also absolute stunner. I think we were calling this the FedEx wallet. This is Violet Shell Cordovan on top of dip dyed Amaretto Shell Cordovan. We've got an orange stitching on the outside, which matches very well to the dip dyed Amaretto on the top here and on the interior, man, this looks great. Nice Horween ink stamp cut perfectly into the center. We have violet shell cordovan card holders, again, with that orange contrasting stitch. And then underneath here, we've got some hidden card slots. So this is dip dyed amaretto for the hidden card slots on this stunner of a Fat Herbie, and then hand stained violet edges. And the last wallet of the day is another vertical Bugs Moran. It seems like people have been really into this design. I saw a couple questions come in about this slot right here. So there are two card holders on each side with one hidden card slot underneath. So there's three card slots on each side. On the interior of this one, we have reverse violet shell cordovan, which looks great, but here's where it blew me away. Inverted violet for the exterior of this wallet. I really love this randomized sort of Jackson Pollock look of the inverted shells and the inverted violet is really nice. We also have some inverted blue, inverted black, and a couple other inverted colors that are really great. So I'm really excited to put this one up on the website this Friday. Thanks so much for checking out the preview video here. If you have any questions, now is a good time to ask because these are not live for another day or so. If you have any questions, leave a comment. And until next time, I hope you have a good one.